presentation you're about to endure is completely unreal and heartbreakingly honest at the same time. Please welcome the president of Blizzard Entertainment, Mike Ibarra. Let's go! How's everybody doing? Dead. You want a raid? Okay, enough fun. <laughs> Welcome to Honest Con. This event you're attending is a raging dumpster fire. On purpose. I know many of us have friends that didn't get to go to the opening ceremony because of the lottery. So shout out to the Portal Lounge. Thank you all for being here. Especially hey, considering hi. we are streaming this via YouTube for free. I hope it's only slightly less comfortable than your couch at home. Thousands of you here won't get your merch. When you show up at your scheduled time, they'll tell you your order isn't ready yet. And when you come back tomorrow, they'll tell you your item is gone because you didn't pick it up at the scheduled time. Did that happen? No matter what, do not attempt a credit card chargeback or we will permanently close your Battle.net account. You are some of the most resilient consumers on the planet. That and is right though. You can throw everything at a Blizzard fanboy and they still will throw money at them. This event, we just want to see how much abuse you can take to calibrate our pricing going forward. Ouch. With the thought in mind that the Diablo 4 add-on is likely going to cost like $80 or something. I know. When the creativity of some of the best developers, artists, and storytellers in the world is fearlessly monetized. And you don't push back. Our shareholders get very excited That's to scale right. our charge more for less business nightmare you're living through. That's to right. A charge more for nothing nightmare. Do you know what I say to that? Fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, here's a taste of the blizzard we are today and the blizzard we are becoming. Enjoy. And hello, BlizzCon. This guy was dope, though. <laughs> What's up, BlizzCon? We want our game Jesus. to represent. That's so funny. <laughs> when nobody's cheering and they all look so lost, dude. Woohoohoo! Present this global community from the East Coast to the West Coast to lay the foundation for WoW's future. Warcraft Rumble! Yeah! It's a great day for Warcraft! Necromain for life! Dude, did. Is there a compilation of this dude? For Diablo 4, how often he mentioned that he's a necro and showed this tattoo. I feel like he did that in every single promo piece. $65. That's a celebration of pride. A dating sim, an actual dating sim. Lover one. We finally have our first Samoan hero. Dwayne the Rock Johnson from Moana. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? And boom, premium battle pass activated. You. Listening to your voices and taking action. So that's it for today, guys. We're looking forward to. Oh, shit. To be fair, when it comes to Warcraft 3, they are listening to our voices to a degree. Okay, uh, that shouldn't be here. On the balance part, not everything else, not the compatibility issues, the performance issues, like everything that might attract some people, but on the balance side, they are. So. Shout out to them. Um, okay, uh, that's, uh, that should definitely, um, okay, sorry, we should have, uh, <laughs> that's it for today. <laughs> and we promise Blizzard will never do that stuff again. There we go. So How well about done. That? So well done. Now, I've got someone backstage you are all dying to hear from. So let's put our hands together and welcome a titan of the Blizzard family. Please join me in welcoming my friend, our friend. <laughs> gotcha! Hey, hey, hey! Fuck you, Mike. That is, uh, 
uh, the Microsoft uh, representative, right? Okay, folks. Blizzard is dead. Activision used its corpse as bait for a while. But now it's the Master Chief's turn to ride the undead pony, and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Many of you here today know that we don't make games for fun anymore. Companies make games for money, not art. Every company that becomes successful will grow. And There's a few exceptions, but in general, that's right. Once it's big enough, it will be consumed by capitalism. It's become a major catalyst for the evolution of games and Blizzard's time has come. So congratulations, we couldn't have done it without you. So if you're gonna blame anyone, check your own Battle.net receipts. That's right. We all have so much to look forward to, but before you start huffing- uh, That's probably not right for the Warcraft community. Cause you know, we don't even have loot boxes, skins, whatever. But the amount of people who are buying cosmetics, doesn't matter how expensive they are, why not exploit them? Nothing copium you should know. There won't be another video game company rising up to fill the void. Because if they tried, we'd buy them too. We can treat you like crap and you'll keep coming back. That's right. Because that's what we're all used to by now. Exactly. And if you ain't broke, why fix it, am I right? Money is the only reason we make games. If you can remember that, this all makes sense. It's great to feel the energy in the room. You're angry, but you'll keep buying our games because here's Chris Metzen. <laughs> get back to this spot. I tell you that. Honest Khan as one! It's so well done, man. It feels amazing to be with you again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to make a change. They will not change. Unless you change. So it's time to dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. Come on now. Their games could be amazing, provided we we do our jobs, we do the thing. <laughs> But if their games suck, then you have to unsub immediately. And only come back once they respect us. Metzen out. Boo. Oh boy, that is some high level copium. So As the Metzen good, says, Mwah. So Thank true. you. All I was so bored at BlizzCon. It was ridiculous. Thumbs up for HonestCon. It was really freaking good. That's the video in the chat. Yeah, that's right. I mean, what can I say? There's a lot of honesty and truth in that video. And the only voice that matters is money. <laughs>